The path of water. Such a controversial event. Used to be fun, used to be equal, but you know, they are to ruin something that's not broken. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video. I'm gonna try to make one advanced guide just so that you can understand what heroes to assign. I'm gonna try to explain why Mikoro is good, why you could use Tweak in this event, probably heard about this. I understand some people don't like to think in games, um, so I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna just give you the result, and then I'm gonna explain myself after. Stick around. So you guys probably know this event is a nice source of crystal splinters. So there is no escaping or ignoring this event. The question now is the following. What heroes should you assign? Before you pick your heroes, make sure you remove everything. Because if you don't, you might get some errors between resonating heroes. This is a summary of what your formations should look like if you're on generation 12 or above. Anything older state. There has not been enough testing for older generations, but I can teach you to figure it out for yourself. This event is not equal between players anymore. So the stronger you are, the better you will perform. There is no changing that right now. So we have to adapt and find a way to become better at it. So if you're free to play, I'm gonna teach you to be a better free to play. If you're a max player, I can help you become a better max player. Does this make sense? To get the highest rank, it is best to make a team of max players. That's just how it is. As a max player, you could consider making both your marches equal. We noticed each battle lasts between 6 to 7 rounds. There's much less troops, there are less rounds which means less times for hero skills and troop skills or behemoth skills to even activate. Some of them will, some of them will not. For Jason 12 player this is an example of a first march. You notice we're not using behemoth. This is the second formation with Kira and Mikoro both resonated to Cody and what's his name? Lori. You can use resonate heroes together. It's a mistake in the game. Notice the behemoth is in the second march in an attempt to make the second march stronger. This is the quick summary I promised you. Now it's time to put the nerd glasses on and to explain the reason for all these heroes. Let me explain why we're using Tweak and Mikoro. Tweak has very awesome skills. They activate very, very early in the game, and especially in the beginning of the attack. In the event, the Path of Water, the attacks are very, very short. So it is most ideal to use heroes that have solid skills that activate very early on, like Mikoro or Tweak. Now you might ask me about the stat difference. Well, it's not as significant as you might think. So for example, Laura has 1194% stats, and then Lori has 1720 stats. If you do the math, that's like 44% difference. However, in this event, they just add 1000% to every single hero. I know, I'm sorry, it is a difficult Thing to talk about but some people just like that and this part of the video is for you when we add 1000% to each hero the difference the 44 the 44 percent became 24 percent difference so the difference in generation between heroes became smaller and even smaller then when you add something like Chief here, the gap can get even smaller, and this gap is hugely impacted by the hero skills. It doesn't mean you should use, for example, Hank instead of Lori. The stat difference became way too big. 
But for example, Derek versus Hank, if you're on generation that has Derek and you have Hank, it is best to put Derek aside and use Hank instead, because the skills of Hank will outweigh the stat difference between Derek and Hank. Even Magnus can defeat Derek. That's two generation difference, just because of the skills. I hope that makes sense to you guys. I hope that helps explain why we're using such weaker heroes. But obviously do not use Magnus if you have Lori or Laura. So if for example you're on generation 3, I wouldn't be surprised if Nanami, the purple hero, was better. So basically hero stats don't matter so much, hero skills matter more, you have shorter rounds, you have the monkey not activating its full potential, you have troop skills not activating its full potentials. And unfortunately, no matter what you do, it doesn't matter how many buffs you use, the free to play will just not beat the whale. Before I end this video, this is an example of a report using Laura, Tweak and Mikoto against Lori, the Rider Kai and Cody. The stat difference is not too large. I mean, when it comes to player versus player, the Laura, Mikoto, and Tweak defeated the Generation 12 heroes. If you got any questions, you know what to do.